Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is Wednesday morning, almost 20 after 8. I've been up for a while. Uh, I had a horrible night's sleep. I did not get comfortable in this hotel room at all. I had a headache all night. I have one pounding now, but I don't want to take anything until I have breakfast, which isn't going to be for a while. So I'm discombobulated just like I was yesterday morning. I just feel like shit and, and I have a headache and that's meh. And it probably doesn't help that it's all nasty and uh, dark and dreary and, and rainy out. So, yay, I am going to go do this meeting here. I'm probably going to leave now just to make sure I get there in time because traffic sucks around here. And then, uh, then we're going to go have breakfast. So happy hump day. Let's go take charge of the day. Twice in a row, I have gone through the tunnel and I didn't stop, no traffic. So again, I'm going all the way along the highway here instead of turning off and taking the scenic route to get away from the traffic and the annoyance. I can't believe it, second time in a row. Now this time though, it makes more sense because it's only 1.30. So if, you know, last time I went there was 3.30 and I didn't hit it and that was just amazing. So yeah. Other than the skull splitting headache that I've had since like eight o'clock last night, things are going pretty good today. I think this is going to work out perfectly. So here's the way it's set up now. Obviously, cheese plate, small rig cold shoe adapter, and then the Mantis Pod mini ball head. Unscrew. Ow. That goes down there. Now, I'm going to set this down so that you can look at me while I'm step by stepping you. Okay, now here's what I've done. This is the panoramic plate. And then I put on one of those Arca clamps. So now that's all together. But the good thing is, and this is what I was worried about, is that there's the, the little knob. When you spin that, I was afraid that then the entire unit with this knob would spin, but it's not. It's just the portion on top. And it's got a nice tight spin to it. You tighten that down and now it's not moving. So now I will put this on the cheese plate and I should be good to go. Here's what we got. So now what I've done is I have mounted this thing under here as best I could. Unfortunately, in order to get it to actually be tight, I had to spin it at an angle. So this isn't sitting straight like this. It's actually coming in at an angle, but that's okay because then when I'm sitting here like this, I can just reach right up and it's right there and I don't have anything in my way. Now I should be able to just slide this on right there and I'm going to do that now. So now that is so, so much lower by, by like three inches than the rear view mirror that actually that this is not blocking. Although, all right, yes, it's covering part of the windshield, but the only part that it's covering that I wouldn't be able to see is the hood. So it's really not blocking anything beyond the hood. And that's a good thing. Then all I got to do is twist this. Ah! Uh, lock it down. And now I've got front facing, perfectly centered, forward view for any kind of speed or time lapsing or however you want to put it. All right. And then all I got to do is loosen it really quick. And I can even just use the knob for the Arca plate. <laughs> and spin it back around like so and lock it down. Oh my God, I think we finally got a winner. OMG, I'm so freaking happy. This works perfectly. And now because it's got, it's lower and it's not sitting up as high, it's not gonna wanna jiggle as much from having the weight up that high. Holy shit, it finally works. It, it, it like works so well that I'd almost be tempted to take the monopod out and not have to ever rely on it again. I won't do that because I can use it for something else. But it's finally done. It finally works. It's finally set up the way that I have always hoped that it would be. I'm stoked. 
and it didn't even it didn't even touch the anchor. The anchor is like still good. So I don't have to worry about that either. Okay, there, it's done. The, the Forerunner setup is done. I don't see having to do anything else to this because it, it, it's actually working the way that I had conceived it when I put this other contraption together. So I'm good to go. Despite the fact that I had a skull splitting headache today, it actually worked out really well. I had a delicious breakfast with good crispy bacon and I got gas before I left, like right down the street from the place I got breakfast. So I didn't even have to stop the whole way home. I also did stop though and got coffee and peed. So I wasn't overwhelmed all the way back when I hit tunnel traffic, which I didn't even hit. So man, everything's coming up Millhouse today. So this works now, it's perfect. Couldn't be happier about that. Now I gotta go call a dealer and walk them through a form and then I'm gonna chill for a little while. So that's all you get today. What more could you want? Success, that's what this is all about. Forward and up. I just moved forward and up. Aren't you excited? I know I am. Okay, that's enough. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.